this video is going to discuss the procedure in the Court of Tax Appeals. So preliminaries muna tayo, we said that the Court of Tax Appeals may sit in bank or in division. And the Court of Tax Appeals in bank has exclusive original jurisdiction. It also has an exclusive appellate jurisdiction. How about the Court of Tax Appeals in division? Meron din silang exclusive original jurisdiction. Meron din ang CTA in division exclusive appellate jurisdiction. Let us just recap the exclusive appellate jurisdiction of the Court of Tax Appeals in division. First, you have the decision of the Commissioner of the BIR or the decision of the Commissioner of the Bureau of Customs. The decision of the Secretary of the Department of Finance, the DTI and the Department of Agriculture or the decision of the Regional Trial Court, but you make sure that the RTC is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction over what cases? Tax collection case and criminal offense. In both of these cases, dapat the amount claimed is less than 1 million pesos. 1 million pesos. But take note that dapat pasok sa jurisdiction ng RTC. And what else? You have the local tax case. So saan mo iaakyat sa Court of Tax Appeals in Division? So this is the exclusive appellate jurisdiction of the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. Next, what is the exclusive original jurisdiction of the Court of Tax Appeals in Division? There are two, the tax collection case and the criminal offense. Take note that the amount claimed must be 1 million pesos or more. How about the exclusive appellate jurisdiction of the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank? We are talking about Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. The decision of the Court of Tax Appeals, but the Court of Tax Appeals is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction over what cases? Tax collection case and criminal offense. The decision of the Court of Tax Appeals, but the Court of Tax Appeals is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. Take note ha, take note. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito na decision is the decision, resolution, or orders on the motion for reconsideration or motion for new trial filed, yan ang iaakyat mo sa Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Hindi yung original decision, but the decision on the MR or the, in, the decision on the motion for new trial. Who else? The decision of the RTC. The RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction over what cases again, tax collection, criminal offense, and local tax cases. The decision of the Central Board of Assessment Appeals saan ang akyat sa Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. So that is the exclusive appellate jurisdiction of the CTA in Bank. How about the exclusive original jurisdiction of the CTA in Bank? You have Rule 2, Section 2 of the Revised Rules of the Court of Tax Appeals, very clear that the Court of Tax Appeals shall sit in bank in the exercise of its admin, ceremonial, and non-adjudicative functions. So, this is the summary of the jurisdiction of the CTA. If you are a working student, I suggest a screenshot nyo na to para mas madali ninyong ma-recall. This is very helpful especially if wala kang panahon mag-aral para sa exams. So we said that for the decisions of these bodies, saan ang akyat mo? Sa Court of Tax Appeals in Division. And the Court of Tax Appeals in Division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. But paano ka aakyat? What are you going to file? Answer is, you're going to file a petition for review as stated in Rule 42 of the Rules of Court. What is our basis? Very clear under Section 4 of Rule 8 of the Revised Rules of the Court of Tax Appeals, an appeal from a decision or ruling or the inaction of the CIR or the Commissioner of Customs, Secretary of the Department of Finance, DTI and the Department of Agriculture or the decision of the RTC, in the exercise of their original jurisdiction, you're going to file a petition for review as provided in Rule 42 of the Rules of Court. 
and the court and division shall act on the appeal. What is the period? The period is 30 days. What is our basis? Section 3, Rule 8 of the Revised Rules of the Court on Tax Appeal. Very clear. You're going to file your petition for review within 30 days. 30 days is counted from when? From receipt of a copy of such decision or ruling or the expiration of the period. Hindi masaya si client sa naging decision ng Court of Tax Appeals in Division. What is your remedy? What is the next step? You file a motion for reconsideration or a motion for new trial. What is the basis? That is very clear according to Section 1, Rule 8 of the Revised Rules of the Court of Tax Appeals. There must be a timely motion for recon or new trial. Where do you file your MR or motion for new trial? You file it with the division, with the Court of Tax Appeals Division. Huwag magkakamali ha yung iba fina-file sa Court of Tax Appeals in back. Hindi po. Kung sino yung nag-render ng decision, dun ka magta-file ng MR. What is the period? The period is 15 days. Very clear according to Section 1 of the Rule 15 of RRCTA. You are going to file your motion for recon or new trial within 15 days. 15 days counted from when? From the date, from the date you receive your notice of the decision, resolution, or order of the court in question. So, lumabas na ang decision sa motion for new trial or the decision on the motion for reconsideration filed and what is the decision denied. Galit na galit yung client. Nagsasalita na yung client na ano ba naman tong aking abogado. May pagkamahina yata. So, what is your remedy? You go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Take note ha, you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. But what are you going to file? You file a petition for review. Still, petition for review, but this time the petition for review is the one provided in Rule 43 of the Rules of Court. What is our basis? That is very clear according to Section 4, Rule 8 of the RRCTA. Take note again ha, paulit-ulit kong sasabihin na ang ia-appeal mo is the decision or resolution of rendered by the Court of Tax Appeals in Division on the motion for reconsideration filed or the motion for new trial filed. And again, what are you going to file? A petition for review as provided in Rule 43 of the Rules of Court and the Court in Bank shall act on the appeal. What is the period? The period is 15 days. Basis, very clear under Section 3 of Rule 8 of the RRCTA, you are going to file your petition for review within 15 days. 15 days is counted from when? From receipt of a copy of the question, decision, or resolution. Take note, ha? Take note that this 15 days can be extended. The court may grant an additional period not exceeding 15 days from the expiration of the original period within which to file the petition for review. So we are done with the procedure of the Court of Tax Appeals in Division, but the Court of Tax Appeals in Division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. We go now to the procedure when it comes to the decision rendered by the Court of Tax Appeals in Division, but it is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction. Again, over what cases? You have your tax collection case and criminal offense and the amount claimed is 1 million pesos or more. So what is your remedy? What is the next step? You file a motion for new trial or a motion for reconsideration. That is very clear according to Section 1. There must be a timely motion for recon or new trial filed with the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. And what is the period? The period is 15 days. And kung hindi maganda ang decision, hindi ka happy, ano ang next remedy? You go to the Court of Tax Appeals in bank. What are you going to file? Petition for review, but the petition for review as provided in Rule 43. Basis, that is Rule 8, Section 4, Letter B. 
file a petition for review as provided in Rule 43 of the Rules of Court and the court in bank shall act on their appeal. What is the period? The period now is 15 days. Basis, Section 3, Letter B of Rule 8, very clear that you, you file your petition for review within 15 days, 15 days from when? from receipt of a copy of the question, decision, or resolution. But take note that that 15 days can be extended because the court may grant an additional period not exceeding 15 days from the expiration of the original period within which to file the petition for review. So pag kinumpare mo ngayon, if the CTA is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction, or if the CTA in division is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction, the same lang ang procedure. First file a motion for new trial or MR and then go up to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank, Petition for Review, Rule 43, 15 days. 2012 Bar Exam Question Where and how will you appeal a decision of the Court of Tax Appeals? Answer is, you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. Kakasabi pa lang natin whether the CTA in division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction or the CTA in division is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction. Ang una mo dapat gagawin is you file a motion for new trial or motion for reconsideration. That is a sine qua non condition. Hindi ka pwedeng dumiretsyo sa Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. At pag mayroon na itong decision, ang motion for new trial or motion for reconsideration, then that is the time that you file your petition for review, Rule 43, period is 15 days. We go now to RTC, but take note that the RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. What is the meaning of that? The case was originally filed in the MTC. What are these cases? Tax collection case or local tax cases. Basta yung jurisdictional amount pasok sa MTC. Hindi ko muna sinama dito yung criminal offense. So from MTC, where do you go next? to the RTC. That is why the RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. So from RTC, where do you go next? To the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. What are you going to file? Petition for review under Rule 43. What is our basis? Very clear under Section 4 of Rule 8 of the Revised Rules of Court of Tax Appeals, Letter C, that if there is an appeal from a decision or ruling of the regional trial court in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction, you are going to file a petition for review as provided in Rule 43 of the Rules of Court. It is the court in bank who shall act on the appeal. What is the period? The period is 30 days. Basis, Section 3, Rule 8 of RRCTA, Letter C, you are going to file a petition for review within 30 days. 30 days from when? From receipt of a copy of the question, decision, or ruling. And if we are talking about the decision of the Central Board of Assessment Appeals, you have the same procedure. Petition for review, Rule 43, period is 30 days. So from this table, what did you notice? The only way to go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank is to file a petition for review under Rule 43 of the Rules of Court. Saan lang sila nagkakaiba? Nagkakaiba sa period. Because if it is a decision rendered by the CTA in division, but that CTA in division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction or original jurisdiction, the period is 15 days. 15 days. But if it is a decision rendered by the RTC, the RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction, or a decision rendered by the Central Board of Assessment Appeals, the period is 30 days. Take note, ha? 30 days. What if there is a decision now of the Court of Tax Appeals in bank and you are not happy? What is your remedy? You go to the Supreme Court basis. Rule 16 of the RRCTA, Section 1. Very clear, if you are a party adversely affected by a decision or ruling of the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank, what are you going to do? You can appeal by filing with the Supreme Court 
a verified petition for review on certiorari. What is the period? Period is 15 days. 15 days from when? From receipt of a copy of the decision or resolution as provided in Rule 45 of the Rules of Court. You read Section 2, very important. If you're going to file a motion for recon or a motion for new trial, this one is filed in the Court of Tax Appeals in back. And during its pendency, nag-file ka ngayon ng appeal to the Supreme Court. What is, what is the effect? It shall be deemed abandoned. Take note of that. Ha? So again, the only way to go up to the Supreme Court is via Rule 45. Appeal by certiorari or petition for review on certiorari, question of law, period is 15 days. So let's go back to this bar exam question. Kompletuhin natin ang procedure. You state the steps for bringing up to the Supreme Court a decision of the Board of Assessment Appeals of the Province of Rizal. So from the decision of the Provincial Board of Assessment Appeals, where do you go next? To the CBAA. Take note that the CBA here is in the exercise of, of its appellate jurisdiction. And from there, you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. You file your petition for review under Rule 43 of the Rules of Court. The period is 30 days. And to go to the Supreme Court, you need to file Rule 45, Question of Law. That is your appeal by certiorari or petition for review on certiorari. Period is 15 days. So we'll go now to criminal offenses, criminal offenses arising from violation of the NIRC or the Tariff and Customs Code and who ha which court has jurisdiction, answer is RTC. So meaning to say the amount claimed here is less than 1 million pesos. But the RTC is in the exercise of its original jurisdiction. So saan ka tatakbo? you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Division. Therefore, the CTA in Division here is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction. So what are you going to file? Notice of appeal period is 15 days. What is the basis? Very clear under Section 9 of Rule 9 of the RRCTA, Letter A, an appeal to the court in criminal cases decided by the RTC in the exercise of its original jurisdiction shall be taken by filing a notice of appeal pursuant to Section 3, letter, letter A, and 6, Rule 122 of the Rules of Court. And what is the period again? 15 days, 15 days from when? From receipt of a copy of the decision or final order. And you need to, to serve a copy upon the adverse party. And it is the Court of Tax Appeals in Division who shall act on the appeal. So, if the decision of the Court of Tax Appeals in Division is still not favorable to your client, what is your next step? You need to file a motion for new trial or a motion for reconsideration. That is a must. What is the period? 15 days. Again, ha? Ang decision, resolution, or orders sa motion for reconsideration or the decisions, resolutions, or orders sa motion for new trial, yan ang iaakyat mo sa Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. What are you going to file? Petition for review under Rule 43, period is 15 days. What is our basis? Section 9, Rule 9 of the RRCTA, letter B, is very uh, clear that you are going to appeal to the court in bank in criminal cases decided by the court in division by filing a petition for review under Rule 43 of the Rules of Court. Period is 15 days. 15 days counted from when? From receipt of a copy of the decision or resolution appealed from. Take note that the court may for good cause extend the time for filing of the petition for review for an additional period not exceeding 15 days. So let's compare the procedure if a decision is rendered by the RTC but the RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction, meaning to say the case was originally filed in the MTC and 
from MTC inakyat mo ngayon sa RTC kaya ang RTC is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction so where do you go next you go to the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank that is very clear according to section 9 the court in bank shall act on the appeal what are you going to file still the same petition for review under rule 43 of the rules of court period is 15 days basis section 9 rule 9 of the RRCTA an appeal to the court in criminal cases decided by the RTC in the exercise of their appellate jurisdiction shall be taken by filing a petition for review as provided in rule 43 of the rules of court period is 15 days 15 days from when from receipt of a copy of the decision or final order appealed from so from this table what can you observe the only way to go up to the court of tax appeals in bank for your criminal offenses is to file a petition for review under rule 43 of the rules of court and the period is 15 days same lahat ha period is 15 days so sa hinaba-haba ng ating discussion, this is the summary of the procedure in the Court of Tax Appeals. 2009 Bar Exam Question How, when, and where should you pursue the appropriate remedy for a decision rendered by the First Division of the CTA affirming the RTC decision convicting his client for violation of the NIRC? So what is the procedure? If it is a decision rendered by the CTA in division and that CTA in division is in the exercise of its appellate jurisdiction, meaning to say the case was originally filed in the RTC, what are you going to do next? You need to file a motion for new trial or a motion for reconsideration. Where are you going to file your MR or motion for new trial? You file it with the Court of Tax Appeals Division. What is the period? Period is 15 days. At pag meron ng decision, ang motion for new trial or motion for reconsideration, you will now file a petition for review under Rule 43. Period is 15 days. Where are you going to file? To the Court of Tax Appeals in Bank. That is the procedure. 2006 Bar Exam Question. Pag binasa mo lang dito ang tanong without reading the facts, you can already answer this question. Does the Court of Appeals have jurisdiction over Mark's petition? What petition is that? Petition for certiorari under Rule 65. But let us read the facts. Mark filed with the BIR a complaint for refund of taxes paid, but it was not acted upon, so he filed a similar complaint with the CTA raffled to one of its division. Mark's complaint was dismissed, so ano ang ginawa niya? He filed with the Court of Appeals a petition for certiorari under Rule 65. Can he do that? Answer is definitely no. Bakit? Sinabi na natin to, ang Court of Tax Appeals, ang Sandigan Bayan, they are of the same level or they are of the same rank of the Court of Appeals. That is the reason why the Court of Appeals no longer has, that, has jurisdiction to review decisions of the Court of Tax Appeals in bank. Question, does the CTA have jurisdiction over a special civil action for certiorari assailing an interlocutory order issued by the RTC in a local tax case? Answer is definitely yes. Bakit naging yes? Pagbalik tarin mo yung, pagbalik balik tarin mo yung batas ng Court of Tax Appeals, walang naka-indicate doon na meron silang jurisdiction over CPM or your certiorari prohibition and mandamus. That is silent. Unlike the law of the Sandigan Bayan where it is very clear that they have jurisdiction over CPM. The same also with the Supreme Court nakasulat yan sa Constitution and also with the Court of Appeals and the RTC very clear under BP 129. But pagdating sa Court of Tax Appeals, hindi yan naka-indicate. So bakit naging yes? 
ano ang desisyon ng City of ano ang desisyon ng Supreme Court sa City of Manila versus Grecia Cuerdo 2014 case ang sabi ng Supreme Court pag binasa mo ang Constitution nakasulat doon very clear that judicial power shall be vested not only in the Supreme Court but also in lower courts as may be established by law and what is the definition of judicial power it includes the duty to determine whether or not there has been a grave abuse of discretion amounting to lack or excess of jurisdiction on the part of any branch or instrumentality of the government. And because of that, on the strength of the above constitutional provision, it can be fairly interpreted that the power of the CTA includes that of determining whether or not there has been grave abuse of discretion it thus follows that the cta by constitutional mandate is vested with jurisdiction to issue writs of certiorari in these cases